So you're looking for a travel and portable tripod in 2022. I hope I can help you out today with this video. I've got three models, the Small Rig T200, the Manfrotto Compact Action, and the Manfrotto B3 Advanced. I have reviewed each and every of these tripods before, and you can find all the in-depth reviews in the description tab, where you will also find the links to the items themselves if you want to purchase them go and check them out we're going to compare them with the photography head they come with so we're not talking really about video today but we're going to use them with the native heads we're going to go through different categories and i'm going to give you my opinion at the end of the video as well on which one I would buy for my travels for portability so let's start from the price you can find the small rig t200 at the price of 69.98 british pound the compact action comes at the price of 54 and the b3 still by manfrotto is more or less 150 154 so if we want to give a vote we start giving it to the compact action with the price of 54 british pound the next category is the minimum length, the height, if you wish. So you can see the T200 is the tallest one and it comes at 47 centimeters. The compact action is 43.3 centimeters and the B3 advanced only 40 centimeters. And this when all the legs are closed. So this is literally the minimum height you can get for these tripods. So the vote goes to the B3 with 40 centimeters. Let's go to the next category, which is the maximum height. And we start again from the T200, which can reach a maximum height with the center column down of 146 centimeters. Now bear in mind, this tripod has two telescopic poles in the center as a column so it can go higher compared to the other two up to 200 centimeters with both the columns extended each 133 centimeters with the center column down and it can reach 155 centimeters with the only uh, pole it has fully extended Another individual pole is on the Manfrotto B3 Advanced. It can reach 128 centimeters with the column down and 151 with the column extended. So another vote, if you're looking for uh, the tallest tripod goes to the T200. Now, separate note, I never had any problem with any of the three tripods, guys. I'm 180 centimeters, I never had the need to go up to 200 centimeters so you can definitely do and achieve the shots you need with any of the three tripods just keep it in mind okay very important category for portability and if you're looking for a travel tripod of course which is the weight the t200 is 2.05 kilograms the compact action 1.2 and the b3 1.5 more or less 59, 1.59 kilograms. So if you're looking into weight, well, the compact action wins because it's the lightest between the three. Next category is the carrying case. All the three tripods actually come with the carrying case, but I give my vote actually to the T200 by Small Rig and the Manfrotto B3 Advanced because the carrying case actually has a wider strap, which is more comfortable to carry around for during your traveling. The compact action comes with the, just a string, a tiny cord, which is very uncomfortable after a while. And that's why I'm not gonna give any vote to it. A lot of people are asking me this during my reviews on tripods, which is, can I use the tripod in Anders Lang? Which means, can I use it with my camera facing down? Now, you can only on two of these tripods, which are the T200 and the B3 Advanced again. You can't place the camera upside down with the compact action. So the votes, once again, go to the T200 and the B3 Advanced legs sections which is also related to the stability of the tripod so how many sections do we have on the tripod the t200 and the b3 advanced come with only four sections the compact action has five sections so five different 
polls. And here the vote actually goes to the T200 and B3 Advanced because of more stability on the, of the tripod itself. Usually the less sections you have on the leg, the more stable the tripod. As we're talking about the legs, let's talk about the locking system of the legs. In all the tripods, we have levers. As we mentioned, we have different sections. I'm gonna show you what I mean on the compact action. We have four different levers on the leg. It's very quick and actually, I think it takes the same time or less to open or close the legs in all the tripods. You just use your hand to open all the levers at the same time and you slide the legs down. So it literally takes two, three seconds for all of them. Now, I'm gonna give my votes though to the Compact Action this time and the B3 Advanced because the levers of the T200 are, are a bit harder to open up and it takes actually a bit more effort. Stability of the tripod when it's fully extended. Okay, I'm gonna give you just uh, the vote on the uh, fully extended tripod. So as we have less uh, sections in the legs of the tripod as I mentioned before for the T200 and the B3 Advanced these two are more stable and more solid compared to the compact action which is the least stable of the three actually but when the T200 is fully extended as it has two columns as we've seen before it's not that stable so the vote here goes to the B3 Advanced and again in terms of stability we're going to talk about the hook this is a hook to hang sandbags for example to make your tripod even more stable we have a hook on the t200 by small rig but also on the b3 advanced there's no hook on the combat action but bear in mind the only centered hook is actually the one on the t200 still you have an option on the b3 so i would give a vote to both of them now let's talk about something very important about tripods, which is the head. As I mentioned, we're going to talk about the native head the tripod comes with. And the T200 comes with the 360 degrees ball head. It's a replaceable head and also it had three bubble levels to keep your camera properly centered and uh, on the horizon level. The compact action again is a 360 degrees uh, ball head. It's not replaceable, so keep that in mind. You can't replace the head on the compact action and there's no bubble levels. The B3, once again, it's a 360 degrees uh, ball head with one bubble level and it's, well, I'm not sure if it's replaceable. I actually sent a message to Manfrotto. They said it is replaceable, but I couldn't find really the way to take it off and replace it with a different one. For the versatility, I give a vote to the Manfrotto and the T200. Related to the head is also the plate. So what plate can we mount on the tripod? The T200 comes with the Narca Swiss plate, which is a quite common plate. It's replaceable. It's a kind of a quick release plate. Well, kind of. It takes a bit longer than a quick release plate, but uh, that's the option for the T200. On the compact action, there's a one quarter inch adapter, which is quite unique and not very versatile because you can't find it on any other tripod or device or gimbal. So that's a bit trickier. There's always an option to, of course, mount a, a different plate, a different adapter that can be placed also on your gimbals, you know, to switch and go from a device to another in a quicker way. But as we are talking about native head, not a fan of this option here on the Compact Action. We're talking about the B3 now, and uh, it's a Sony quick release plate, as I mentioned before, but it also comes with other different mounts on the Manfrotto website. You can buy the one for the Sonys, as I have, which is a quick release. That's a real quick release plate. Uh, or you can find different options also with an Arca Swiss plate like the T200. So definitely the B3 offers you a wider range of choice and that's why my vote goes to the B3 Advanced. Tilting angles and I'm talking about the head of the tripods. Can we use the tripods either in portrait and landscape mode? Yes, we can in all of them. So I guess the kudos goes to all the tripods 
one kudos each. Safety payload, the next category. How much weight can we put on the tripod? The T200 can support a weight up to 15 kilograms. And of course, you, you have some uh, issues when you're tilting that kind of payload down, for example. But still, that's what's on paper. The compact action can hold cameras and devices up to 1.5 kilograms and the B3 up to 9 kilograms. So if you're talking about how much weight the tripod can hold, the T200 is the winner for this category. Overall versatility and extra features. The T200 has some rubber on one of the legs, which makes it more comfortable even in cold weather. So usually the aluminum becomes very cold, but the rubber stays warm. So if you want to hold it in that kind of conditions, it kind of helps out. Also, one of the legs becomes a monopod, so you can detach the leg and use it as a monopod, but also as a walking stick, which is great, again, for portability, hiking, traveling in general. It's also versatile in terms of legs angles. You can reach very low angles and, as we mentioned before, also tilt your camera upside down, reverse the tripod, so a lot of different um, fun features there. The compact action is not very versatile and there's not many extra features, unfortunately. This is the minimum height you can get. There's not different angles. You can just tilt or pan your camera over the, uh, over the head, basically, and that's it. The B3 also has a rubber band around the leg, like the T200. Yeah, you can achieve lower angle shots like the T200, more or less. So at the end of the story, for the versatility and extra features, the vote goes to the T200 without any doubt. Let's talk about accessories, which is quite important as well when you buy a device um, such as a tripod. So the T200 comes with steel foot screw for the legs for softer terrain. So if you're using the tripod on softer terrains, you have these clothes that help you to make your tripod more solid. Uh, we have a spare release plate, an Arca Swiss plate, and a smartphone holder as well. Also, you have some Allen keys to set up properly your tripod. The compact action comes with nothing apart from the carrying case, which also comes with a T200, as we've seen before. The Manfrotto B3 Advanced, again, comes on the carrying case. So another vote goes to the T200. So which is the winner? Now I'm going to also share my thoughts and the one that I would buy. So I'm going to give my final vote as well. Personal advice to you guys. So if you are looking at the price, if you're on a budget, I would go for the T200 by Smallrig. It's not much more expensive compared to the compact action but you get a much more versatile tripod with the t200 you got different accessories it goes higher and also you can achieve different angles because of the capability of the legs go for the compact action for smartphones or small cameras such as the sony a6300 family and so on if you're not caring about extra features and uh, replacing the head and again you're on a budget and looking for a travel really light tripod go for the compact action if you instead are looking for the best quality of these tripods i would go for the manfrotto b3 advanced and uh, here i'm going to share also my personal vote which goes to the b3 advanced by manfrotto usually when i buy things in general even if they are expensive, to me, most of the times, the price equals the quality of the item I'm purchasing. And uh, you can't go wrong with the Manfrotto usually. And that's why I would go for the most expensive, but not just because I want to spend money, because when I buy cheap, usually I buy twice. And it happened for either of these two tripods. So the small rig company sent me the T200 and the first version they sent me broke after literally 15 minutes of use now this version is fine is solid i never had any other issues but again i would have spent double the money if it wasn't a warranty well, I, I had also problems with the compact action because the ball head kind of got crooked uh, during a trip on a plane i received my luggage and the head was tilting on the side and literally it folded the, the aluminum of the head so 
I couldn't fix it since then. And also the head, the ball head became loose after a while. So now it's completely tightened up and still I can rotate it and spin it. And uh, it's not great for my kind of rig. Okay, because I use heavier cameras. I would go for the B3 also because it's versatile, definitely much more than the compact action. I can buy the one with the head I want. I can buy the one with the fluid head as well. It's solid and it's the best compromise in terms of size and weight. Bear in mind the T200 is the heaviest of these three tripods. And literally this is a good compromise to carry with me. Look at the size, it's portable. He has a quick release plate definitely my choice so if i had to buy one right now this is the one i would go for but that's my opinion i want to hear your comment and please drop it down here in the comment tabs let me know which one would you buy uh, if you want to know more again drop questions down here be part of the community feel engaged and i can't wait to see you in the next video that's why i also ask you to subscribe it's a simple way to say thanks for my time to build this review for you guys. Take care, I'll see you soon.